I am now the exclusive promoter of Kevin Rhodes' multiple books on hognose snakes, and we're currently offering the largest discount to date of 33% off using the promo code SHOVELHOG33. The link to purchase these books will be located in the description of this video. All right, guys, so I just got home from work. And look what we got here. Got some eggs. So this is the Arctic Sable Anaconda Head Albino. And it looks like two good eggs so far. So I'll keep y'all posted. All right, guys, update. I count like eight eggs. You can see one by her chin. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs so far. And she still has a ton of eggs left to go. So this definitely will probably be greater than uh, greater than 15 egg clutch for this first time breeder, which is really cool. So hopefully my male proves out to be a uh, head sable and we get some Arctic sunburst. All right, so my female's finally done laying eggs. I'm about to pull them right now. Before I start doing that, I'm going to get my uh, egg trays set up. So I get these little egg trays from Amazon. And you can see I have one little hole right there. And I put a tiny hole on the other side. And I use cocoa core as my substrate. So I get the bag cocoa core. So this is natural loose coconut soil bedding. I get this from PetSmart. So it's like $12 a bag, and this is what I use. I don't add no moisture to it. So I open the bag, put it in the egg trays, put the eggs in there, and put them in my incubator. And to me, this has the perfect level of moisture. You don't have to add any moisture to it. You don't have to worry about your eggs dehydrating or anything like that. And that is what I do. So with that being said, let me go get the eggs. All right, it's time to grab these eggs. She is finally done. She is super emaciated. Let's get her out. Super deflated. Let's see if I can uh, pan this out. Man, I'm definitely about to give her uh a nice mouse. I hate how skinny they are after laying the eggs, but she's definitely flat. You did a really good job for a first time mama. So let's put you in here. And let's get all your eggs. So very nice clutch. Um, off the top of my head, I'm going to guess 17 eggs. So let's see if I'm right. All right, guys, we're back, and now it's time to count all the eggs and candle them and see how many good eggs we have. All right, and as you can see, I got two egg trays because it's a bunch of eggs. So let's start off with this one right here. Let's see if we can candle it. You see right here, nice veins on this one. I'm trying to get this in focus. Let's put this one over here. Okay, yeah, we can see that. Go with this egg right here. Clearly see the veins right here. And we have another egg right here. This one's kind of a weaker egg. Not sure if it's going to make it, but it does have a nice embryo. Like I said, it is kind of deflated. But we'll see. Be very surprised if this one makes it. All right, we have 
this one right here. And you can see the embryo right there. This one, and you can kind of you can see the embryo up top. And what I'm also looking for if I can find an egg that has two embryos because I've never hatched out twins. And this egg. Nice embryo right here. Oh, this is a really nice embryo. are stuck together. Let's get this one out. All right, you can see the embryos right here. And this one right here, this one's a little more yellow, so this might be a slug. This one doesn't seem to have an embryo. Like I said, I think this one is a slug, so we'll just set this one to the side. And now we got these eggs right here. A lot of them are stuck together. So I'm gonna try to gently separate them. All right, so we got this cluster right here. Hoping all the embryos are up top, which this one is up top. Can't really tell with these other ones. So I'm gonna try to separate them if I can. All right, let's get back to it. A nice embryo up top. A nice embryo. This one's really nice and really nice embryo.
And now I gotta set up another egg box. All right, so here we go. It looks like we have eight eggs right here, eight eggs right there. So that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 fertile eggs. And we have two slugs. So 22 eggs total, 20 good eggs for the first time breeder that was not even brewmated. I can't wait for these eggs to hatch out. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but she is in Arctic Sable Anaconda 100% head albino. And she was paired to an albino Anaconda 66% head sable. So if he does prove out to be head sable, the male, then we should be getting a lot of sunburst babies. We should be getting some Arctic sables, super conda versions. I can't wait, man. This is going to be an awesome clutch. I wish they would have got laid earlier this year so I could have them for the Daytona Reptile Expo. But this lets me know that I will be vending other Reptile Expos this year. So you know I'm going to keep y'all up to date with these babies as well as the five babies I have in the incubator and the babies that have already hatched out. And I appreciate y'all for watching another one of these videos. Before I close out, I'm actually going to thaw out a mouse for my female so she can eat. All right, it's time to give this first time mama a mouse. There you go. Get your strength back. She did a lot better than I ever would have expected. So proud of this girl. And I now have a Patreon account for those who want to support me even further. Here you will have access to exclusive videos, giveaways, as well as discounts. The link will be in the bottom in the description. And if you purchase Repi links, feel free to use the discount code SHOVELHOGS to receive 5% off of all purchases.